not moving. All right, there's a tool for this. Patreon, support the future of Built Not Bought. In here somewhere, if I can find it. Uh huh. You've got a spare flywheel floating around, steal some of the teeth off it, cut it up. And you can throw this in the flywheel gear to jam the engine from spinning. Oh yeah, that's how you undo these type motherfuckers. Oh, it's gonna come off the stand next. Yep, I thought that might happen. Woo! Throw a bolt in there. Keep it nice and square. Square to the camera. Jesus. Not really doing much, but. There we go. Oh, that's moving. Ta-da! Pretty much what I'm gonna do now is take the timing cover off, timing chain, take all that out, throw it on the trailer. Take it to the shop tomorrow. I'll see you guys there. I'll probably take the camera along, have a chat to them, see what's going on, see what they recommend we should do with this, and then get it back, supercharger. I think they're gonna put the cam in and the whole rotating assembly back together for me, so all I gotta do is worry about putting the heads on. Oh, well, actually, I might get them to put the heads on as well. And I'll just do the top end of the supercharger, save a bit of time. Um, as you've seen me pull it apart, putting it back together is the same, but just you wanna know what you're doing a bit more. So I think it's best if I leave it to the pros. Oh, g'day guys, it's Sam here from Build Not Bought. Nah, look, I've got my, uh, not Facebook, Instagram Live going at the moment. So if you're watching that Instagram Live and now you're watching this episode, Instagram episode, you're going to be looking at it going, what the hell is this guy doing? But anyway, uh, we're going to keep pulling this thing apart. Ah! <laughs> Ah, uh, persistence is key, all right, all right. Oh, it's still stuck. Nah, it's just getting caught on the lobes, I think. So, you're getting the cam out, you just want to spin it as you pull it out, and it will find its way through the slots. Boom, next. Ta-da, you proud of me? God, that, oh Jesus. What's new? Fucking oil everywhere. The next day. to drive a manual hold a camera and eat a banana. Anyway, as you know, I don't like letting a lot of other people touch my car, or any car of mine for that matter, unless it's some specialty thing I can't do or I trust them. And I trust these guys, he definitely sounded like he knows what he was talking about. He gave me a lot of insight into all the different parts that they use and the reason behind it and whatnot. Uh, so they're pretty much just gonna get the thing apart first, see what is going on inside, Check all the clearances, measure it up, and then it's just gonna get a balance. Most likely, he said, we'll be upgrading pistons and rods just for that reliability on the bottom end. Um, but I need to sit down and have more of a discussion with him for exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. 
uh, to tune it and build it for that basically. So exciting times. We'll see what he comes back with and have a chat in a later episode. Now today I'm going to get my boy Churchy around to come and start tacking this canopy together because I'm like, oh, I think that's him now. Woo! Hello! Yeah, so for any of you that are following Built Not Bought on Facebook, you may have seen a post I put up a while ago about trying to find someone who could build the canopy because, well, let's face it, I can't do it here. I need a guillotine, I need a big cutter, and it. it I need a TIG welder. I don't know, some things you can't do without the right equipment. But oh my God, the backlash. Oh, not built, not bought, it's bought, not built. Oh my God. I'm gonna stop watching this series. Oh my God, it's, it's the worst thing in the world. So you know what, guys? I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a crack. And I was like, even though I can't from the start, I'm gonna get the people I need and do the most I can out of this house. So we're building it in the backyard, getting some parts cut and prepared elsewhere. But to the best of my ability, we're going to give this thing a crack and weld her up here. So what I'm thinking though is like, there's nothing flat there. So I reckon we push the patrol out. Okay. And then like sweep the floor yep. and just like lay it down there. Alright guys, now just got all the parts back for the canopy, got them all pre-cut from the old man's work. They've got the proper bandsaw on that to cut the alloy. If I was going to use a drop saw here, it would have been hard to keep everything square and it's not really good for cutting alloy anyway. You really need to use like a saw. So, got all these pre-cut, so it's all perfect length to the millimeter, all squared up. So what we do is knock up the frame, tick it up, and then send it back to dad's work to get its skin. They got the guillotines and the benders and press, all stuff I can't do here. We'll skin it up and the doors and that, send it to powder coating, then get it back and I'll start hacking it up for all the door locks and that. So what we've got here, oh by the way, there's like a big ass fire today. That's what, I don't know, the sky's real orange. So, all that. So hopefully my house doesn't get burnt down. Anyway, so this is the base. All these cross braces are gonna be for the floor because the it's going to be a jack off i've got to put a lot of cross bra braces in for the floor to give it the strength and then the roof rooftop tent there's a couple of braces on that as well yeah so these cross braces will be for the roof as well so we've got the floor and the roof um these are here for the doors so these are going to be the internal frames of the doors i've been given these spaces here which pretty much that is the gap that's how much they need for um skinning it up like the, the thickness of the sheets we need that much gap for it to seal and stuff. So I could place them under each one. I put the frame up. That's what's going to chock it up to get the right right gap there. So ah! <laughs> where are we mounting the sprinkler? Straight on top. Yeah, it's my shower. Oh, all right, right here. That'll be all right. That'll keep us nice That'd and cool, would not be sure. Okay. All right. So the plan is we're going to mark up the internal frame first. Get it on in here. I want to put in all the cross sections first. Weld that up. Then lay that whole thing on the tray and tack the actual frame around the ring on the outside. I'm gonna do it in here because I think the floor is a lot more flat than my tray because I built that. So it's not gonna be perfect, is it? We've gotta clean all the ends first with the acetone. So we're gonna use this acetone stuff because the cutter from the from cutting the alley has like a, a it's like a lubricant, eh? like a grease. Oil lubricant, yeah. yeah. Which will destroy the weld. So we're gonna clean all the ends with acetone first. So when we weld it, it's nice and clean. Right now, so Josh has just popped back to his place because turns out my dad's got the square which we're going to need to square up these ends when we weld them. So he's gone and done that. On. GoPro turned off. Oh. Okay, he's back with the square. Wait, where is the square? Uh, down behind you. There we go. A variety Ooh. of them. They're not magnetic. Oh. What do you think you're going to stick the magnet to? The alley. Oh, it's non-ferrous metal. <laughs> this is why he's doing it, not me. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you haven't smashed that subscribe button already, please do so. And if you want to go that step further and help support Build Not Bought, just hit our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. <laughs>